Here's a 1984 Sony Watchman that I got recently at an estate sale. Comes in a nice leather case. Um, couldn't take it out of the case, but we can see that there's good access for the headset. Um, a video input, or AV input jack. And there's one thing you can't get to here. You have controls for contrast and brightness you can get to, but you can't get to the vertical hold contrast while it's in the case. You have an external antenna jack and a place for one of the mounts for another carrying strap. Over here you have access for a DC power jack. You have your volume and channel tuning and the other point of attachment here for a strap. On the top your access for your power and your band select. And when I bought this, there's some paperwork in it. We'll take a look at those. And we have the uh, DC adapter. So let's take it out of the case and look more closely at it. All right, we have it out of the case. And uh, you can see we have the antenna here, which you would have used back in the day. Not much good now. We have a speaker here. And here's that vertical hold control that we couldn't see when it was in the leather case. That has a place on the back for four C batteries. This is the model FD-40A flat black and white TV. Runs on 6 volt direct current. Made in Japan of course. Here we have the instruction manual, 1984, shows how the TV screen is aligned. Um, shows how to use the audiovisual inputs. I had no luck with this. I didn't have those exact cable numbers, but I had lots of different cable attachments to try and I could get video on some, although it wasn't very good video, and I could get excellent audio on some, but but never audio video together. And never very good video. Came with some other little antennas for back in the day that would be useless now since we're digital. other power sources. I like uh, this AC power adapter. We're going to look at that for a minute. Since mine came with one and uh, here are your specifications. Accessories. Uh, the AC power adapter AC40A. And uh, I think I showed before mine came with a DC power cord. And the unit is marked DC in. Tip negative, I think that's interesting. Um, so I began to wonder where is the AC power cord? And I had some paperwork here for the AC40A. Where I noticed there's a brick in the middle of it uh, showing going to the DC port. And the person who had this um, had paid, what, 30 some dollars for that and ordered it afterwards since it was not included. And it's interesting that back before, I guess, internet online ordering was good, you had to find someone to call and order the parts yourself. But he eventually got it. And then I had, of course, noticed that although this is a DC adapter, 6 volt, they call it an AC adapter. So um, to me, an AC adapter is a regular old power cord with maybe a uh, figure 8 at the end of it, like a crock pot. 
to me this is a DC power adapter, not AC power adapter, but that's just me. Let's see what other paperwork came with it. Uh, don't kill your hearing. And there's a various safe, safeguards here for televisions. Don't shock yourself. Don't cut off cords. A lot of this doesn't seem to be applicable for a small four inch black and white television, but I guess you can't be too safe. Hey, I've done that. So that's the paperwork that came with it. Glad to have it. We're going to use batteries today. Um, not the power adapter. Alright, before we try hooking a video source into this, I want to turn it on without it and see if it does this weird thing on the screen that I have seen it do before. And if anybody knows what that is, please tell me. We're going to power it on. See that little uh, thing there that comes down then it goes away? I'm not sure what that is. Alright, we have our digital to analog converter box and an antenna ready to go and we have a little uh, sort of adapter I've been using for some of these things I've also figured out having learned from that Panasonic by slider that this works better if I bridge those this is usually connected here but if I bridge those it seems to work better Plug that into the uh, connector there. What? Health risks associated with excess weight or obesity can be serious. And we've got our signal going in. But you can do something about it. What kind of channels do I we get? I found this. This week out in Sonoma, and just um, you know, all the pieces were. For each set. Keep it for yourself, or send it as an un You'll notice that the TV screen seems a little lopsided in there, as if it's, as if the left side is facing me more. It's not quite flat in there like it says. Well, the old digital signal is not doing too good today. It's a summer full of fun and great baseball. RTV6 and Peyton Manning Children's Hospital at St. Vincent proudly present the Indianapolis Indians Not Whole Kids Club. Any child 14 and under can join. Oh, I'm sure you realize how valuable this experience can be. You'll fill this out for every trip. You have to fill it out even when you're not... Yeah, big screen TV here for... I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. A little there are thousands of teens in foster care who don't TV. need perfection. They need you. There is no place like home. Getting home safely is just a click away. But making sure your child is in the right seat is just one of the steps down the road to safer travels. Well, that's Sony's 1984 flat black and white TV, 4 inches, the FD-40A. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to let little Dan keep watching his new big screen TV. Thanks for watching. Bye.